Hello everyone, teacher Mitya here. Okay, in this video, I'm going to focus on question number 33, how to answer NOVA. Okay, in paper 2, question number 33 is the last section of the question. And then, this is uh, in section D. And there will be 15 marks will be awarded, 10 for the content and 5 for the language. So basically, in this video, I'm going to highlight to you how to score that 10 marks. So stay tuned until the end. Before we look at uh, how to answer the question, the strategy, the techniques, I feel we have to look at the common errors that usually students will make. First of all, factual errors. Students will make a lot of factual errors when they don't understand the novel or they didn't read the novel well or they don't understand the story, or they are confused with the story. For example, they will change the name of the character, or they will write a wrong setting, place, or they will highlight a wrong event. So, these factual errors will cause you to lose a lot of marks. Next, lack of textual evidence. Students will write with very limited textual evidence because they do not read the novel very well. So, if you want to get a good marks, Make sure to read the novel not one time but more than one time, at least two or three times so that you will understand the story, you will remember the names and you will remember the plot, event, everything in detail. Next, textual evidence not well developed. Okay, The students know that they, can, the, they know the stories very well but what will happen is they will write only in few sentences. To get a good marks, you have to write the textual evidence in detail. Next, no attempt or limited attempt to deliver own opinion, personal response or related to own life. Because for the past few years, if you see, in SPM, there are a lot of horse questions. So, point number 4 and point number 5 is interrelated. Okay. If you give your personal response, your own opinion, your feeling, that means you have attempt to answer the horse question. If you are not giving your own opinion or your own personal response or own idea or you didn't relate it to your own life, then you are not or you have limited attempt to answer the horse question. So when you are not answering the horse question, you are losing your marks and you will be uh, graded below 5 or 6 marks. So make sure you have all the important elements when you write your answer and avoid all the, these common errors. Analyze the question the moment you get the question paper. When you turn to the page uh, which contains question number 33, get a highlighter and highlight the keyword in the question which is very important for you to answer. Next, do a mind map. If you look at this example, SPM 2018, and if you look at the question, and you can see I have highlighted the important keyword in red. With close reference to the text, describe one problem faced by the main character. One problem is the important keyword. Faced by the main character is the second important keyword. Give your opinion. This is your horse question about the way the problem was solved. So you have to give your own opinion about the way the problem was solved. So when you already highlighted this important keyword, you have to draw a mind map before you start answering the question. That mind map will be answering all these questions. For example, who is the character? What is the problem he or she faced? How he or she solved his problem or her problem. And now come to your own opinion. And remember your own opinion must be judgment, comment, praises about the way being solved. I feel very happy because Newton Newman able to solve his problem bravely because. So I feel very happy is already your own opinion. And when you give reason, you are answering the horse question. So, drawing a mind map is very important which will help you to answer the question in very organized way.
Talking about the strategy that I want to introduce to you in this video is CEP. CEP is a special formula that I use to guide you to answer the question in order. In your every paragraph, you must have your CEP. What is CEP? Content is C. That means your first sentence must be answering the question. After that, E is evidence. You must have a detailed textual evidence. And then you must give a personal response for every paragraph. And your personal response is a mini conclusion that you give which is related to the textual evidence that you have written for the for that particular content. So CEP, if you follow this formula, you will be able to ensure that you are answering the question which fulfill all the elements. Before we look at how to write your content, we have to look at how to write an introduction. An introduction is very important and you have to address the need of the question in your introduction itself. If we look at the uh, question SPM 2018 again, okay, this is how you have to write your introduction. Okay, first of all, you have to mention which novel that you have chosen to write. So here I have highlighted Captain Nobody. Next, the main character, Newton Newman, who has a big popular brother, Chris Newman. Okay, then you introduce new, uh, who is Newton Newman, who is his best friend, and then uh, what are the problems that they are facing. You have to give a very brief introduction about the novel that you are writing in the introduction itself. And after that, the last sentence of your introduction, you must answer the question. The one I highlighted in red is you are answering that one problem faced by the main character. That means Newton Newman has acrophobia which is afraid of height. Newton Newman main character, one problem is acrophobia which is afraid of height. That means you already answered the question and you are in the right track. Okay, now we are in a very important section which is how to write your paragraph. After you have done your introduction, now you, we are going to look at how to write your paragraph. Looking at the same question, okay, remember you must have your C, content, E, evidence, and P, personal response. Okay, how you write your content? Okay, that one problem, afraid of height. Why? Because Newton Newman was not a brave person. So this one problem, he has to face it in his life. Okay, textual evidence. Textual evidence here, I have chosen the problem that he faced when he need to help Cecil to get the base drum. So, if you see the sample I have given here, it is written in very detail. So you have to write like this, every textual evidence. For one question, you have to try to give at least four to five textual evidence, minimum four. And every textual evidence, you must make sure it is balanced. So every event or every moral value themes or setting that you are writing, you have to make sure it is balanced and detailed. You cannot write your first paragraph very detailed, your second paragraph less detailed, your third paragraph very detailed. That means your answer is not organized. So your evidence must be detailed like this. And then make sure no factual errors. Okay, next. After you have written your uh, textual evidence, then you go to your personal response. Every textual evidence must support with personal response. That is what I call CEP in every paragraph. So here, in my opinion, Captain Nobody has done a good job as a friend to fulfill his best friend's dream. And with the support from Cecil, he managed to get the bass drum and also managed to overcome his problem. So here you can see that you are giving your own opinion, your own idea. So you can start your personal response with, in my opinion, in my point of view, I believe that. So, it shows that you are giving your own idea. And your personal response must relate to the textual evidence that you are writing. 
So every paragraph, every textual evidence, you will have different content, different personal response, which is related to that particular textual evidence. If you able to write like this, trust me, you will get a better score. Okay, we are at the last session of uh, this video, how to write conclusion. Okay, when you write your introduction very well, you write all your content very well, the most important thing is your conclusion. You have to make sure that your conclusion is your own opinion. What you have learned from this particular question, what you hope. Okay, so here I would like to give you one example. For the same question, SPM 2018, you can write like this. It looks very simple, but you are answering all the elements that needed in the question. The question asks, give your opinion about the way the problem was solved. So you have to give your opinion in the conclusion itself. So I like the way he solved his problem. You already gave your opinion, you like the way. He solves his problem because of others. Okay, he is really a responsible person who always thinks about others. So you already give reason why you like the way he solved the problem because he is a responsible person. So you already have a very good answer. You already have very good judgment. You already have very good command. So if you answer like this, you will score very good marks. That means 7 and above for your content. And then your language you can get 4 or 5. So it's very important for you to remember this formula CEP. This formula CEP is very important because many students can write introduction or even can write conclusion. But to write their textual evidence, content and personal response, they have problems. So make sure that you do a lot of practice so that you will be able to write with this CEP in every paragraph. Remember, without reading the novel, you cannot answer the question. You have to read the novel. Then only you can write your textual evidence in detail. Okay, we are at the end of the session. Okay, make sure you're able to write the answer very well and then follow the formula that I have given you, CEP, Content, Evidence, Personal Response. And remember to analyze the question, highlight the important keyword, draw a mind map before you start writing your answer. With this, I believe you will be able to get a good mark for your question. Question number 33. Best of luck. Believing in your dreams is the only way to reach your destination. See you again. Bye.